it was uh, typical uh, of, of this team this year, the way we won. We've won in so many different ways, ugly, pretty, defensively, offensively, come from behind, make a field goal at the buzzer, um, so many different ways, and it was a collective team win today against a, a great opponent. We just played like we didn't want to be here. I did, not my team. I feel like I played, uh, I played poorly. You know, there was a lot of things, you know, we could have did out there on that field to put us in a better situation. Just got to move on now get ready for next year. Mm. Tough way to end a great rookie season. But yeah. Give credit where credit is due. Willie McGinnis and David Carr, that Chargers D pulled out all the stops to slow that guy down. And also all the DBs, too. Pulled them all out. Absolutely. First of all, you know what? You, we, we said going into this game, you got to build a lead to make Lamar Jackson, this offense, one-dimensional. Force him to throw the ball. And then everybody questioned what would the Chargers do different defensively going against them. Well, Gus Bradley, the defensive coordinator, said, you know what? I'm going to make a small adjustment. We're going to go more athletic with the defensive backs. And we call that the penny formation. We're bringing all the guys. And so a visual of that is three linebackers, right? They're not really linebackers. They're safeties. You got Phillips, you got James, and you got to die. Watch how they attack the pocket. They're more athletic. And then they can run with Lamar Jackson. Here's the die right here. He busts the pocket open. You can't block these guys in space. It makes it tough for the linemen. Okay, so now you have a coverage. It looks like a single high. Cover three right here. They do a good job at coverage. They take away everything. So what does Lamar normally do when he gets in trouble? Nothing's Tuck open it. right away. He tucks it and go. Well, guess what? You got Derwin James. You don't have a slug on the outside of defensive end. You got a safety that can run with you. Fourth down stops to get you out of bounds. And then here it is right here. You got to die again. You got Phillips and you got Derwin James. Derwin's going to come screeching off the edge. You got to die right now that's setting the edge. And then you got Phillips that's coming up the middle making a play. I thought it was genius. I yes. thought it was great design. And you match athleticism for athleticism. And you had three guys that were able to come up and make key plays the entire game. So seven DBs, that's called a penny defense? We call it the penny defense because oh. it's so the it's smallest of the coin. Yeah, it's dime, it's nickel, it's penny. These fast guys are really small. <laughs> <laughs> Chargers the only team this year to get a second crack at Jackson. And boy, were they ready for it. Yep. Damien Square said that they even knew where he was going to go when the plays broke down. Uh, should yeah. they have turned to Flacco? Well, yeah, that's what's difficult about that. So I think that a lot of it is schematic, right? So you look at that. They got seven DBs on the field. Why weren't three tight ends on the field early on for the Baltimore Ravens? So point. That, that's, that's point one. That would have helped. But then when you're down 17 in the fourth quarter, you sit there and you think this is not an offense that's conducive to scoring quickly and striking down the field. So you have to almost think, okay, well, Joe Flacco's over here, Super Bowl MVP. He's done this before. Mm -hmm. But I really think that you look at the Chargers and what they have on the other side, they also have four guys up front, particularly those ends that can get after you. So Man. you put Flacco back there, it was going to be a disaster. <laughs> that guy, he didn't want to go in the game. He knows what I know. That pass rush was going to be relentless. So you got Bosa and Ingram. That, that was going to be a mess. So anyway, he went out and made some plays. Lamar kind of brought them back and was able to do some things. But I really think that this, this started in the first quarter when they, when they didn't face this penny front, this penny look the correct way, that's where they got in trouble and get behind the eight ball. David, I have a question for you. Why didn't Marty Morningwake adjust? If you look out there and that's you see the question. three the three defensive backs there with the safeties, why wouldn't you go power football? You stayed yeah. in your zone ring scheme. You kind of played right into what the Chargers were doing. You used to sound like me on the couch yesterday watching this game. It's exactly what you say. You say, well, all these young guys, all these little guys are out there. Throw three tight ends out there. Go at them. Run down, the, run down hill and you'll be fine. But coaches, I think this pills.